We're doing a milk tasting today. Oat milk, two different types, a nut milk and cow milk. What is going to be the best in terms of taste? Is it gonna be moo milk or is it going to be moo no milk? Are you too good to be moo or are you for moo milk? <laughs> To give some quick background on each of these three brands. Oatly's been around for about 30 years. They originate in Sweden. This is the most mainstream brand of oat milk that you'll find here in the US. This is the most common version. It just says oat milk on it, no dairy, no nuts, no gluten. And they also have a low fat version. They've got a full fat version, which we're also gonna be taste testing today for the very first time. The difference between the regular version and the full fat version, it, when you look at the ingredients list, is that the full fat version has two different types of oils that are added to it. So the first one is rapeseed oil. That's the same oil that is in the regular version of Oatly oat milk. And then it's got a second type of oil added to it. So it's DHA algal oil, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I looked it up. It's basically an oil that's derived from algae that comes from the ocean. So same types of fats, or good fats as they call it, that are the types of fats you find in fish. So I'm not quite sure how necessary it is to have two different types of oils added to the full fat version, but we'll try and see how the taste compares. Next we've got our nut milk. So the nut milk we're tasting today is the macadamia nut milk. And the brand is actually kind of cute. It's called Milkadamia, and its little catchphrase is moo is moot. <laughs> so this brand, I don't know, I think it's been around for about four or five years. Apparently it originated in Australia, but it's a US owned company. The macadamia nuts originally when they first started came from Australia, a farm on the east coast of Australia. But because they've been getting bigger and bigger and expanding, they are now sourcing macadamia nuts from other sources as well. Lastly, we've got my favorite brand of cow milk, Maple Hill Creamery Organic Whole Milk. With Maple Hill Creamery, they are a farm that is in upstate New York, about two or three hours outside of Manhattan. And they are most famous for having dairy products that are 100% grass-fed. So the cows do not eat corn, do not eat any grain, similar to how the mass the vast majority of cows do in the US. They eat grass all year round, which means that the milk tastes better and different. Well, it's better to me, but it's different. It's different than mainstream milks that you would normally get at the supermarket. Because when cows eat something, you end up eating what they eat. One other thing to note about the milkadamia is that it also has a few additives. So it's got some additional vitamins and minerals that have been added most notably vitamin D. Contrary to popular belief, vitamin D is not naturally occurring in cow's milk. With Maple Hill Creamery, because they're super pure, there is nothing added to this milk. It literally just says organic whole milk under the ingredients list. So if you like milk, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like milk, well, learn a little bit about milk and give this video a thumbs up anyway. So I'm gonna start pouring. Don't forget to shake. So shake me right here. So we take a look at just the milk on its own once we've been pouring into the glass. This full fat oatly oat milk seems a bit creamy. Kind of has like a beigey color when you look at it really closely. When you compare it to the Oatly oat milk, for whatever reason, it's a little bit hard to tell, but the full fat version seems a bit more beigey, and then the regular version seems to have more of like a gray undertone. The regular version also seems to be a little bit less thick than the full fat version. The Milkadamia of the four of these, this one seems to be the most gray in color. It also seems thicker than both of the Oatly's. Lastly, cow milk. 
This one seems the most watery of all three. And then it seems to have like a bit of a yellow undertone when you look at the liquid. So we're gonna start with the cow, progress on to the nut milk, and then move on to the two oatlies. Okay, cow milk. Smells sweet. Mmm. Tastes like kind of fatty, but not too fatty. And it has a sort of grassy type flavor to it. Just tastes really fresh. That's really what I think makes it different from regular grain-fed cow milk. Just has that nice, fresh, sweet flavor that you just don't get from grain-fed milk. Now we move on to Milkadamia. And actually when you smell it, I don't know why, it was just me, it actually smells like almond milk. So this has like a less sweet flavor than the cow milk. It has like a thicker texture on your tongue. It tastes kind of plain and it tastes nutty, but it's not immediately identifiable that it's macadamia nut. It just tastes like some blanket nut, mystery nut. I'm a nut milk, but I don't necessarily scream macadamia nut. I actually do love macadamia nuts. They're probably one of my very, very favorite nuts in the world, which is why this doesn't really resemble that to me very much. Okay, moving on to the regular Oatly. This smells weedy, 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 weedy and sweet. Hmm, this is the sweetest of the three that we've tried so far. It's very, very creamy. It's not as thick as this milkadamia, macadamia nut milk, but it's still very creamy and very luscious on the tongue. And then lastly, the full fat Oatly, the mystery Oatly. The too fat Oatly. The too oil Oatly. Is it gonna be better than this? <laughs> to me, these smell the same. Mmm. This definitely tastes fattier than this one. Okay, I'm kind of biased because clearly I knew which was which. This wasn't a blind taste, so it's not a totally fair judgment. But this definitely has like a richer flavor. And like when it's on your tongue, it definitely feels fattier. Same level of creaminess, but this one's a little bit thicker. Sweetness is probably very similar. Definitely fattier. Fatty milk. Fatty oat milk. The conclusion that I've reached, and I know you're not going to like it, is that each of these milks are yummy. I don't have a favorite. It really just depends on the context. So for example, if I'm having English breakfast tea or if I'm making chai, Indian spice tea for those of you who don't know. I love cow milk in it. So delicious, especially the grass fed one. So specifically maple creamery. My milk love, my cow milk love for that specifically. I also just like drinking it because I just love the grassy flavor of the grass-fed milk. If I am having a coffee drink, milk of course, the cow milk works really well in those as it probably should. But both of these Oatly's would be really delicious for making frothy coffee drinks. So especially if you've ever seen my lavender latte video, and if you haven't, I'll leave that in the description box below. Oatly works super well if you want to froth up milk and you want to have that nice foamy top to your coffee drink. Macadamia nut milk also works really well in coffee drinks. I don't like this mixed with tea. And then in terms of just drinking, definitely partial to the Oatly's and the whole milk cow milk. You just have like really nice flavor on their own. This macadamia nut milk on its own is not my favorite to drink. The fact that it's unsweetened and there's really no sweetness at all to it, it doesn't even have any like natural sweetness to me. So macadamia nut milk would be really yummy in coffee drinks. Not great mixed with tea. Don't put it in your English breakfast tea. And I personally don't want to drink it by itself because I just don't feel that the flavor is that delicious to be had on its own. So I guess I would rank this as fourth if I had to rank them. The other three have their purposes in my life. Because as you can see, in this household, we do not discriminate against different types of milk. We love all. 
That's the kind of house we live in? I really hope that you found this video educational and that you learned a little bit about each of these four types of milk. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorite milk is and specifically what brand you like. Please subscribe for more food, more travel, and more cooking as I travel the world to discover new delicious flavors. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye. Moo milk. Milk. Does a body good. Not just cow milk. what the milk tastes like. It tastes like a lot of milk. <laughs>